How you doing guys, welcome to another video. This is option B, biochemistry introduction. Let's go. Okay, volume one, introduction to biochemistry. We talk about what is biochemistry, photosynthesis and respiration, and we look at condensation and hydrolysis reactions. There's a number of understandings, applications and skills, so make sure you have a read of these, go over them, make sure you understand them and we'll tick them off as we go. But the main things are that reactions of breakdown are called catabolism and reactions of synthesis are called anabolism. Two key definitions to remember there. And then we need to get into some explanations about photosynthesis and respiration. So biochemistry studies the chemical processes in living cells at the molecular level. Biological processes are known as metabolism. Anabolic reactions produce large organic molecules from smaller substances and catabolic biological reactions involve large molecules being broken down into smaller molecules. So anabolism is the synthesis of complex molecules from simpler molecules and catabolism is the breakdown of complex molecules into simpler units usually accompanied by the release of energy. So those ones are exothermic. Biopolymers, such as proteins, carbohydrates, and enzymes, are formed from smaller monomer units. Biopolymers form from condensation reactions in which the elimination of a water molecule occurs. Condensation, elimination of water. So here we have a condensation reaction where we have monomers that reacts to form a polymer. Now the monomers react to form because water is lost or eliminated from the reaction. So you can see here that an OH and a H from one of the monomers will be lost and allows us to join the monomer units together. Whenever we lose a water molecule, that's referred to as a condensation reaction. Those type of reactions are catalyzed by enzymes called polymerases. If we have a polymer, then we can break that polymer back down into its monomer units by addition of water molecules. So a polymer, a biological polymer, can be broken down again by enzymes in digestion by addition of water, breaking it down into its smaller units. So this is called a hydrolysis reaction, we're adding in water. Photosynthesis, photosynthesis involves the synthesis. Oh my God, I cannot talk. Synthesis of glucose from carbon dioxide and water. It's a high energy molecule or an energy rich molecule. We have six carbon dioxide, six waters produces one glucose and six oxygen. The process of the Photosynthesis begins when UV light is absorbed by chlorophylls. The light absorbed undergoes a series of anabolic reactions that leads to the reduction of carbon into energy rich molecules. When sunlight's not available though, the plant can use that stored glucose to release energy for the processes in the cell. We say that photosynthesis can act as a carbon sink because the carbon dioxide absorbed by the plant can be released when it burns the energy. And it's the same where we say we have carbon neutral foods. They absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and then they release the carbon dioxide when we eat them or burn them. So we say that they are carbon neutral. So the carbon dioxide is balanced both in the consumption and the re removal of the carbon dioxide. Okay, so a couple of top tips. Make sure you know the definitions, anabolism and catabolism. Make sure you can say the word photosynthesis. Um, anyway, finish that one up. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll make sure I can say photosynthesis.